College Basketball on Longhorn Network is presented by Coors Light. When it comes to ice cold Coors Light, 21 means 21. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. We've got Texas volleyball coming your way on Longhorn Network. The Horns ranked seventh nationally, taking on Kansas State. We'll catch that Saturday at 7 Central right here on Longhorn Network. Men's basketball program now 3-0 as they head to Brooklyn to take on Northwestern in the Legends Classic. Texas takes down Eastern Washington 85-52, holding the Eagles, a team known for the prowess from three-point range, to only three of 21 from three-point distance. We now welcome in the head coach of Texas men's basketball, Shaka Smart. Shaka, we saw you there with just a, a couple minutes left on the clock, and you're looking at the box score. Your team has a blowout lead, but you're shaking your head. What were you looking at? Oh, you know how it is as a coach. You're always looking at things you can do better and, and try to improve on. And I think our guys did a really nice job of defending the three-point line. That was a big point of emphasis coming into the game. We knew that 32 Bogdan and uh, 24 Wiley uh, were going to try to play a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, and they did, and those guys are hard to guard. Yeah. Coach, something that I've had questions about is the point guard situation, and so far you guys – have done a good job of, uh, especially last game and even tonight at some level, protecting the ball and doing all the right things. How do you look at your point guard situation? Because most of your guards seem to be combo style they are. Uh, guards. They are, they are, Lance. I mean, it's uh, one of those things where this year, unlike last year, we don't have one guy that say, hey, you just control the game and have the ball in your hands all the time uh, in Isaiah Taylor. So this year, you know, you got a lot of different guards that you can put at that spot and, and are capable of doing good things there. It's just a matter of them learning what we want. And you know how it is as a point guard. Your number one job is getting your team into offense and getting your best player shots. And that's an area where we've got to continue to grow. I've, I've, I think Snoop started the game off doing a really good job of that. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll continue improving. Andrew had made some nice passes. Uh, but, you know, when guys can score, it's about finding that balance. I think some people believe that telling a guy they're starting and another guy that they're coming off the bench is some big dramatic ordeal. You're sitting down, guys, heart-to-heart -heart talk. I believe I saw the moment in shoot-around before the game when you told Snoop and Andrew what they were doing, and it was just very matter-of-fact. It was not a big deal at all. Was that the case and how yeah, they respond? You know, both those guys know that they're going to play a lot, and uh, I think for us, uh, you know, with Snoop coming back after missing some time on the court, uh, you know, he, he's one of our best players right now. And, you know, I thought that in the last game against Monroe, you know, for our perimeter guys, he was the best player on the floor. Uh, but at the same time, these guys are all going to get minutes. They're yep. all going to play a lot. Andrew's done some really good things. I mean, think about this now. He's a freshman. Uh, and I believe he's been in double figures every game, each of the, every the, the first three games. This is a freshman we're talking about. So he's only going to get better and better. Those guys are going to play a lot. I mean, look at tonight. They played almost identical minutes. They're going to play a lot together. Uh, so we just got to keep making strides and understanding here's what goes into winning. Here's where we need to be more connected. And uh, if we do that, then, then we'll be successful. Coach, how do you prepare for Brooklyn? It's a different setting. You've yeah. been here. Now you're going on the road. What do you do differently? Well, you know what's interesting is our coaching staff has played there a lot or coached there a lot. You know, we, we at VCU, we played 13 games there over the span of about three years. Uh, but for our guys, they've not been up there. And for a lot of our players, this is their first time away from home uh, as a college basketball player. So we'll talk about what that means, what goes into traveling. The competition level obviously is going to take a big, big jump. Yep. Uh, our guys need to understand that and have a respect level for that going in. Know that we've got to play better uh, than last time in terms of some of the details. Uh, but I think our guys are excited about it and, and looking forward to the challenge. So the opener against Northwestern, then the second game there, either against Colorado or Notre Dame. Coach, congratulations on the 3-0 start. And once again, thank you so much for joining us here. A little post-game extra. We appreciate it.